We like to start the regular press conference by Minister Hayashi. Minister, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Today, I would like to talk about emergency grant aid to be provided to the Philippines. So let me start with that. Today, as humanitarian assistance in relation to the damages caused by Super Typhoon Ray last month in the Philippines, Government of Japan decided to implement emergency aid grant aid of $30 million, or roughly $1.404 billion yen. In the Philippines, there are close to 8 million people who are affected and also roughly 1.4 million homes destroyed. At the same time, in the affected area, supply of necessities are still insufficient. So against this backdrop, on the 23rd of last month, through JICA, we have been providing emergency supplies such as generators and tents. This time, we are carrying out assistance related to food, housing, daily, necess daily necessities, health, water, and sanitation through multilateral organizations based on demands for assistance on the ground. Through such assistance, Japan would like to closely coordinate with the Philippines so that we can realize the utmost speedy recovery of the affected area. That is all from my side. Thank you. If you have any question, please raise your hand and identify your name and affiliation. Abe san, please. Abe from Yomiri Shimbun. Uh, the former uh, Prime Minister Kaifu passed away. Uh, while he was the Prime Minister, the Cold War ended and the Gulf War began international uh, situation was in the period of transition. And the former Prime Minister Kaihu, while he was the Prime Minister, if you think about the significance and the role he played in terms of the history, can you explain? Uh, first of all, uh, to to the news uh, of uh, former uh, Prime Minister Kaifu uh, passing away, I would like to share my deepest uh, condolences. As you have pointed out, while he was the Prime Minister from 1989 to 1991, at this timing, uh, there was the collapse of the Berlin Wall, and there was the declaration of the end of the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet, and there was the beginning and the ending of the Gulf War. Uh, this was the time uh, when the international community experienced historical changes. Back then, uh, Prime Minister Kaifu uh, decided the first SDF's uh, mission uh, to be dispatched uh, to uh, Persian Gulf, and although this was abolished as a bill, he had uh, submitted the UN PKO a cooperation a bill, and he has paved the way for discussion for the participation to the international collaborative activities. He has been committed to respond to that situation. Now the international society is facing, again, a large change. Uh, we uh, would like to base uh, on the efforts uh, made by the predecessors, including former Prime Minister Kaifu, and we would like to uh, make the resolute uh, decision to protect the nationals. Next question, Tanaka-san, please. Thank you, Tanaka, from GG Press. I would like to ask about the sanctions relation to the launch of the missiles by the DPRK. The United States, in the form of the United Nations, has put forward a resolution or a proposal to enhance sanctions. What is Japan's response? And also, is there any idea for Japan independently enhancing your response to DPRK? And also, DPRK, against uh, the sanctions by the United States, has really uh, rebut a rebuttal, is saying that the launch of missiles is part of third breaks. Any response to that, please? Yes, thank you. With regard to the proposal by the United States. With regard to the submission of the proposal to enhance sanctions to DPRK to the UN Security Council, as far as Japan is concerned, we support the position of the United States toward their efforts to resolve the North Korean nuclear missile issues, as far as Japan is concerned. We are working to enhance the effects of the relevant UN Security Council resolutions and we would like to coordinate closely going forward with the United States toward complete denuclearization of North Korea going forward. Now, with regard to 
independent sanctions by Japan. As for, as for measures taken by Japan, we have already frozen the assets of individuals and organizations who are involved in the activities that have been prohibited in course of the Security Council, Council Security Council resolution. Also, we have taken measures to prohibit and ban the entry of North Korean nationals, uh, taken measures to prohibit export imports with North Korea. So we'd like to continue to ensure the effectiveness with the Security Council through such measures, and we'd like to thoroughly implement these measures. As far as concrete measures are concerned, we would like to consider from the standpoint of what is most effective to comprehensively resolve outstanding issues, such as abduction, nuclear missiles, nuclear and missiles. Now, with regard to this, the statement by the spokesman of Minister of Foreign Affairs at North Korea, we are aware that they have opposed, we have opposed that they've put up a statement. However, we'd like to refer from commenting on each statement made by North Korea. However, we believe that the we support your position with regard to the addition of subjects for sanctions by the United States. We support the position of the United States, which is taken to bring about solutions to nuclear and missile issues related to North Korea. So we'd like to continue closely coordinate with, with the United States toward complete denuclearization of North Korea. Thank you. Next question, please. Sawai san, please. Uh, TV Asahi, Asahi, I would like to ask about uh, border controls. Uh, currently, uh, those people who return to Japan uh, need to be isolated uh, for 14 days. And uh, for Omicron variant, uh, they have to be in the facility uh, for three to seven days. Uh, in case of Omicron, uh, it has a very short period uh, for uh, the onset uh, of the symptoms. And we suspected that uh, for the close contacts, uh, 14 days of uh, isolation period is expected to be shortened, and uh, they are planning uh, to provide the decision. But uh, in terms of uh, that period uh, for the border control, uh, we think it is uh, possible to shorten the period. But uh, can you uh, explain your take on that? Uh, for the Omicron variant response uh, from the perspective of responding to this uh, prudently, uh, we have been implementing the most stringent uh, border controls amongst the G7 countries. We will continue uh, to implement necessary measures from humanitarian and national interest perspective. and the isolation at home uh, for 14 days, and uh, we would also like to continue the isolation at designated uh, facility, and we are planning to maintain the current framework of border controls. As for the future response for border controls, uh, we will continue to review amongst the related agencies. Thank you. Nishimura-san, please. Nishimura from Radio France. I would like to ask a relevant question. I'd like to ask about border control measures, if I may, on a related note. So with regard to the new entry, the government has said that from the stamp of national interest and from the humanitarian perspective, they will take the necessary measures. That is what the government has mentioned. But what do you mean by humanitarian perspective? Can you elaborate? For example, what about people who are working? What about foreign nationals working in Japan? If it is a, if it's a female, she might have gone back to her home to, to, have, to give birth. But then she has, she has to come back to Japan to restart her work. Can, now, she can, ent she can enter. But then in the case of the baby, it's a new entry, so the baby is not able to enter Japan. And I believe, Allah, doesn't that represent specific, the most special circumstances that require entry? What is special circumstances? Yes, I talked about humanitarian humanitarian perspective. So what about the standard for humanitarian consideration? I believe that was the gist of your question. Up until now, in cases where required humanitarian considerations were required based on individual cases necessary upon necessary border control measures, we have allowed for such entry. So therefore, going forward with regard to we will continue to consider specific services of, of the party and take appropriate measures going forward. Now, with regard to new entry by foreign exchange students, we would like to consider their response because we know that they become uh, students who, who will be graduating or who will go on to upper grades. So, yes, we'll consider that. Thank you. Next question, please. Higutsan, please. 
Higuchi from uh, Chugoku Shimpun uh, about the uh, MPT uh, review conference. Uh, now it has been decided to be postponed for the fourth time. But uh, since uh, there is uh, no explanation uh, at the beginning, we, it was uh, explained that uh, there will be exploration uh, to uh, hold uh, in August, and I would like to know the facts. And another, another point is uh, this is an important opportunity to involve uh, the uh, nuclear weapon state, uh, but uh, there is a concern that there will be stagnance uh, of discussion, and uh, there are uh, much voices uh, of concern uh, from uh, the victimized uh, cities, uh, including the mayor of uh, Hiroshima, and w there is a wish uh, to promote uh, more uh, of the discussion uh, for uh, this discussion. And what is your take on that, Minister? Last uh, December 30th, uh, this is New York time, the 10th uh, review uh, conference uh, on MPT uh, was postponed uh, due to the rapid uh, spread of COVID-19 in New York. So from the originally scheduled uh, January 4th, uh, it was postponed. As I have been mentioning, this is MPT, a review a conference uh, where there is a participation of both a nuclear weapon state and non-nuclear weapon state. And this is an important opportunity to advance uh, to a world uh, without uh, nuclear weapons. So it is uh, regrettable uh, that it is postponed, uh, but uh, bearing in mind that there is a rapid spread of COVID-19 in New York, uh, this is unavoidable. At any rate, this a review conference of uh, NPT uh, should be held as early as possible uh, in a good manner, and it is critical that uh, it will deliver uh, meaningful results, and we would like to be continuing to commit it to that. As to the timing of this conference, uh, there will be discussion amongst uh, the parties. At this point in time, nothing is decided. Any other question? Mr. Azahadi, please. Thank you. This is Harry Khadon, Hanoi News, Arab New Japan. I have a question about West Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, France said yesterday that UAE, United Arab Emirates, will join a French Saudi fund to support Lebanon. Uh, is Japan willing to join uh, this initiative, given that you have been extending aid to Arab countries, including Lebanon, and you have uh, special issues between mm. uh, Japan and Lebanon? Thank you. Hi. Hi. Yes, thank you for your question. Yes. We are aware of the press reports that you cited. We are aware of this press report. But at this juncture, the details of the fund that you refer to have not been made clear. And that being the case, we believe we are not yet at a juncture where we can make any con concrete consideration on this matter. But having said that, in any event, peace and stability of Lebanon is extremely important for the Middle East as a whole. It is a very important matter. So that being the case, from that perspective, Japan intends to carry out necessary assistance that will contribute to the welfare of the people in the Lebanon. Thank you. Next question, Agunsan, please. Abun from Hokkaido Shimbun, and I would like to ask about northern territories. Russia entering this month. Uh, is uh, having a more active military exercise uh, in uh, northern territories and uh, the surrounding uh, waters. But uh, what is the take of the Japanese government and also uh, for the modernization and the strengthening of the uh, Russian forces? Uh, what is your view about its impact to the national security in Japan? Uh, as for the strengthening uh, of the armament uh, by Russia uh, in the northern four uh, islands, uh, they are not in consistency uh, with our position uh, to these islands. Uh, it's not acceptable, and we have been protesting. As for the trend of the Russian forces in northern territories, uh, we have been monitoring on daily basis and continuing to collect information, and uh, we would like to respond as necessary. Uh, furthermore, and coming to your second point, the 
strengthening uh, of the armament uh, by uh, Russia in northern four islands. Our position is, as I mentioned earlier, but if I may comment more, what is uh, fundamentally important is that uh, we need to uh, resolve uh, these uh, northern territory issues. As the government, we will resolve uh, these uh, territorial issues and to conclude the uh, peace treaty. Based on this uh, basic policy, uh, we will be tenacious uh, in negotiating with Russia. Yes, please. Next question, please. Thank you. I want to ask about one point about uh, the late Prime Minister, Mr. Kaifu. In 1991, when Mr. Gorbachev visited Japan in 1991, they came up with a joint statement, and they talked about they talked about they and the just explicitly referred to the four islands, inclusive condition and Lofo. and they agreed upon a framework that really con continues to the basis of this discussion today. So, what about Prime Minister Kaifu's contribution to Japan's diplomacy with Russia? Any thoughts? I believe I have already responded to this question earlier. For example, I talked about the dispatch of self-defense force to the Persian, Wolf, Persian Gulf, as well as introducing the law in relation to carrying out international cooperation, participation in UN peacekeeping operations. And also, there was the declaration to end the Cold War between U.S. and U.S.S.R. And this leader, this took place in December, and uh, Mr. Kaifu took his position in August of the same year. So therefore, he really took very appropriate measures against a very turbulent situation. So I believe this also applies to the matter that you raised in your question as well. Any other question or no other question? We would like to conclude the press conference. Thank you very much.